Good morning, everybody. Before we get too far into the day, I wanted to quickly answer a question that I actually received uh, three times yesterday, and that is, is it worth restarting uh, a social presence on Google Plus? And how this question was framed, uh, two people were actually talking about Facebook and, and one person was talking about Twitter in regards to, they had done a lot of work in those spaces to build up you know, relatively significant followings. They were comfortable with those social networks. And, you know, they had seen a lot of, uh, you know, some of my Google Plus starter kit videos and just kind of seen me uh, kind of pushing Google Plus as a strong resource for content marketing uh, businesses. And their question was really, should they be making that move? They've already done work in one spot. Is it a waste of time to move over? And my response to them was twofold. One, we have to make sure when we're thinking about our business that we're making that move for a strong business purpose. Is Google Plus going to be a place that you are willing to dedicate yourself and build up a presence just like you did on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, LinkedIn, whatever your social network is that you're currently prevalent on? Second, are you going to be able to do work in that social network that is worthwhile and is your best and is the best version of your work. You don't want to be moving from one social network to another if your your personality, if your content, if the way that you handle yourself doesn't translate well. So I don't think that this is specific to Google Plus. I think that uh, this advice kind of translates to, to any time you're thinking, you know, if you're thinking about taking on Pinterest or taking on Instagram, uh, you know, is your content is the way that you project yourself, your personal brand, your corporate brand, is that going to play well in that space? If it's not, don't even consider the move. Uh, the second part of that is if you have built up a significant social network in one platform, I think it, it's pretty easy to get traction, to move people from one social network to another. A lot of people are on most, so, most uh, multiple social networks and it's relatively easy to get people to connect with you in both spaces, which helps you get some initial traction to start to connect with more of the major players in that new social network. So in this case, they were talking specifically about Google+, but I think that this advice translates to any move you're trying to make inside the social space. So do you create content in that space that's going to work? Does the format fit you? Like if you're not good at images, if you just have no interest in creating images, Pinterest probably isn't a great place for you, or maybe Instagram isn't a great place for you. However, if you're on Twitter and you're really good at images, then you probably want to make the move to Instagram. And then the second part is uh, just ask your current audience to start to follow you in that new space. And I think you'll get some uh, traction, some immediate traction, which will help you make new connections in that space and get you going rather quickly. Uh, this has just been a, a short, quick video. If you want more of these, just click the subscribe button. You're going to see follow right